Hi friends, I hope you're all doing well. It's a new year 2023 and this is my first video for 2023. So uh, today, what I'm going to show you is how we can create a new EC2 instance and uh, set up a links in the CSL certificate of right here. So let's get started. <clears throat> I'm into my uh, console home and I'm going to go to EC2. I can go by clicking here or I can go by in the top section EC2 over there. Then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to launch a new uh, easy to instance. So let's click on here and launch the instance. Give it a name of the server. Let's say uh, uh, server. Let's use Amazon Linux 2. Then D2 micro. That should be okay. Let's use a key pair. Whatever, whatever. I'm going to create a new uh, security group. Okay. And uh, I just don't need SSH public access because I'm going to use console to connect from. Back to the instance and then um, I am instance profile. I'm going to choose a profile that I have already previously created. So if you haven't created, just create a new I am instance profile that will have access to SSM uh, systems manager, SSM full access. That's it. You should be able to connect to your instance from the terminal. Other things, just keep as it is. Now let's pass the instance. So while the instance is being launched, I'm going to go to my uh, blog, www.sati.com. I have written an article on uh, all those comments here. And just literally have to visit those comments and just uh, run. I'm going to do the exactly same. So I'm going to go to the instance details to run the comments that has on the website. So it's simple. Just I'm going to make two tweaks like uh, then PHP 7.4 and then use 8.0. That's it. Nothing else. No extra. So uh, this is being initializing. So maybe taking some time so just to wait for one more minute. Okay. And I can like maybe not. So I'm going to take good privilege. So we can see, okay. Just make the screen slightly bigger so you can see better. Okay. Um then I just paste the commands. I just copy from my website. So first yam update all there. Then I'm going to just copy this and up to this. And then I'm uh, going to use HP zero. Okay, it comes with the latest one. So then uh, metadata. Here the screen again. Then I'm going to install uh, Apache and mod SSL. So this is required. So basically, pretty much it. I'm going to clear the screen again so you can see it better. Then I'm just going to install some of these extensions. Pretty much basic. No fancy, nothing else. If you run it, it should work, definitely work. No issues at all. Remember, the OS needs to be Amazon Linux 2. 
a lot of people are commenting in my video that this comment is not working. So I highly request you to first check your operating system. So I'm showing all those examples here are basically using Amazon Linux too. If you have a different uh, OS, a different environment, just uh, follow my other tutorials. I have also uh, tutorials for Ubuntu. I have also tutorials for Red Hat. You can use those. But this example is written on uh, Amazon Linux. So, so it should work. I'm definitely working if you are using Amazon Linux too. So then I'm going to uh, start the Apache server. So, but it does it's starting HTTP? Basically, it's Apache 2.4. That has been done. I'm going to enable this because uh, what happens that if you wanted to uh, like remote your system? It should automatically start rather than you manually run this command. You don't have to run this command never ever again. It will automatically start. Then the interesting thing, let's encrypt. So for this part, we are going to uh, we need E P E L to be enabled. So that is the thing. Okay. That's also been done. No errors at all. So then I'm going to copy this and paste it here. I'm going to install certbot. Should be working fine. Okay, so uh, what I'm going to do, I'm going to give my email address, I have XYZ, I have various terms and services. Okay, now uh, there is no name found, so what I'm going to do is, uh, I'm going to cancel it, because I haven't specified any name yet, so, this is my domain. I'm going to create a new record. The record is uh, um, SSL three. So that's the name. And I need to grab the IP address, copy it, paste it here, and no proxy. No proxy at all. Okay. So then uh, we have an A record. This is and if I go here, I should. I what I need to do is I need to um, clear the screen and create a virtual host. So that virtual host will point to a particular folder on my server, link it to the subdomain. Okay. So if I go to HTML, so this is the basic uh, HTML page that has been created. When you install Apache, I'm going to create a new PHP file. So, I, so let me go on PHP and I basically just type PHP info. That's it. So, oh, I just make a typo. Okay, that's also no issue. I can rename it right in PHP. Isn't it cool? Okay, now uh, what we have to do is create a virtual host. And how do we create a virtual host? Well, I have all given in the website, but I will also need in the description as well. So, um, I will create a virtual host. So, by searching to my website with virtual host, I will probably get something related to virtual host. This is an example. You can read the behind things, but just copy this. I'm going to read all those uh, background stories. So just copy in, paste it in a notepad, and then what I'm doing is. Uh, so remember, I use SSL to move into three. SSL to move into three. 
We are going to write a bunch of those five. So this is example. It says that it is HTTP counter to the Right. That's it. It is HTTP we start the web uh, server. Then verify and then it works. So it's a separate identity. This is all. So this is Okay, yeah, PHP 8, all those things. Only problem is this is it. So I'm going to show you how to install it. This is it. Remember, we have installed server, so I'm going to use server to create a new and certificate for me. So, so do. Okay, not needed for me because I'm already good, but just for the public people who I need to do. Surfboard, uh, and watch it. That's it, right? Okay, they already identified that this is the subdomain that is going to And I'm going to use it. So I just press enter. You try to get in the SSL certificate, it will generate the SSL certificate, do some verifications, test it to be zero one challenge. Okay, it has updated the used file and all those things are done. So now if I refresh this page, it should be SSL. And it's using the The validity is three month April 5. That's the default metrics. So what I have learned, we have uh, installed, you get a new EC2 instance, we created a installed Apache, we installed PHP, we installed Certbot, we link a domain, and then we installed it, SSL so certificate, a lot of things. To summarize, uh, this is a way that we can use your uh, setup in uh, SSL certificate in Apache. If you wanted to do it in Nginx, I have other videos over there, or I might create a new one for 2023. So, if you like this video, please subscribe to my channel. I will try to create more videos out of it. This example is based on Amazon Linux 2, PHP, Apache. Please read the documentations. I will give in the, give those links in the video description. If you have questions, please put your remarks over there. And also mention down if you have any particular things that needs to be covered. Put as a comment so that I will cover that topic as well. So, thank you. Have a new year. Bye-bye.